All right, we're now going into game number three in this series. We'll see how things turn out. We are on Amazonia, I believe, as I am going to go ahead and speed things up to four times speed, get to the two-minute mark, and discover the victor of this best-of-three matchup. All right, on the bottom left-hand side, you guys know him as the Red Orc. Well, currently he's the Red Orc. We have Lin. Meanwhile, on the top right-hand side of the map, we have Romantic spawning as the Blue Human. Human versus Orc in this 1v1 as... Oh, let's go ahead. Oh, why is it still going so fast? Just because the two-minute mark just happened. There you go. Archmage is now out and about, ready to go, as we are going to be looking at clearing out the 533 creep camp. 533 creep camp, as long as the Blade Master doesn't steal any of that experience, will give the Archmage almost level 2. No Lightning Shield, though, as Claws of Attack plus 6 was dropped. Claws of Attack plus 6, very powerful for the Archmage, as it increases his overall damage by 33%, since his average attack right now is just 24. Back across here, we'll see perhaps one rogue get taken out, and then that Archmage will be able to get to level 2. Always important to get to level 2 on the Archmage early, as every second you don't have Brilliance Aura is essentially mana lost, unless you finally cap out. All right, meanwhile, back off to the no uh, north. We can see the Blade Master trying to steal a little bit of that experience, and he does do exactly that. Now going after the Water Elemental. Water Elemental is, is just standing there, 62 hit points. He is just trying to hide away in the corner and finally gets taken out. Blade Master doesn't want to use the mana for the Windwalk, already down to 100, 100 mana, trying to well, maintain and manage all of that as the Archmage, sitting at 500 hit points with 4 armor, or 3.9, looks to head to the bottom side of the map. All right, Blade Master heading down to the bottom side of the map here. Water Elemental going to go ahead and try to finish off this Apprentice Wizard. Meanwhile, Blade Master is still coming across and going to be picking up some items from the shop, selling, uh, um, well, already sold the Scroll of Town Portal, picking up Healing Sab and a squ sp well, s Scroll of Speed. Or the speed scroll back across there. All right, Forest Troll Trapper once again steal, stolen by the Blade Master. And getting in some easy damage once more. Should be able to finish off this Forest Troll Trapper here in just a moment and get to level 2. All right, Footman going up against the Blade Master here. However, the Forest Troll Trapper decides to fall asleep on the job. Blade Master should get an easy kill here. Trying to finish it. Why, why um, aggro that as if you could have just finished down the Footman by yourself? Not quite sure. The Footman looks like it could potentially get away now as the Grunts are putting pressure on the Archmage over here at the Goblin Merchant Shop. Two Grunts putting pressure. Archmage is going to have to perhaps double back around, try to finish off some more units. Water Elemental's Footman now joining in on the fight. Sasquatch will get taken down. There it goes. Wand of Illusion now dropped as a Footman may try and escape. Two Grunts in position here, but they do not want to stick around in this fight for very long. Remaining units all taken down. Archmage it may get to level 3, and it does, as the Blade Master tries to go after a low hit point footman, but getting body blocked by the remaining units here. Archmage ready to head back down to the south. It is buying time as the Blade Master needs to decide whether he's going to be trying to defend his own base or chase after some of those units. Beastmaster has not been hired. I do not believe we are at tier 2 yet. No, we are not. As the Archmage is unable to finish off the rogue. Actually, no. Is there a rogue there? No, no rogue there at all. As the Archmage now tries to put some pressure here. All right. There is an illusion absorbing a good amount of damage. Water Elementals all in position. However, a Peon trying to uh, position himself so that no more units can get inside. Water Elemental is all right here. Archmage down to 454 hit points. Bestiary was taken out as the Shadow Hunter arrives onto the scene only to finish off a one easy, easy footman. Another water elemental will get taken down. Blade Master going to be sitting closer to level 3. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter still sitting at level 1. Beast Master looks like it was, in fact, hired up, but it is going to take a little bit of time before the Beast Master is able to, to do, um, well, do what it's supposed to do, drop some Quill Beast and put some pressure down. Blade Master now looking to finish off some Grunts and the remaining units off over here as the Archmage looking to now clean up and finish off some, well, but just put pressure and ignore all of that. Um, sorry for any of any background noise you might be hearing. All right, Archmage 
still putting pressure down across to the south, trying to take down some orc burrows, preventing any more units from being trained. One orc burrow will get taken down. There it goes. Blademaster, however, gets the level three as it does have that all-important gloves of haste to attack a bit more quickly. Bestiary, once again, being, um, being uh, canceled or may get destroyed. And without the raiders, it is very, very difficult um, to engage against the human versus orc matchup just because the human can retreat much more easily without fear of getting units picked off one by one. All right, Archmage was down to 321 hit points. Low hit point grunt back down across here. Beastmaster well separated from the rest of his units. He has really nowhere to go and there's nothing really down here to take. The Beastmaster um, is just going to be absorbing damage and I think Romantic is perhaps overstaying his welcome here as another Orc Burrow may get cancelled. Archmage tries to show back up. It's not going to be able to do very much. There is the surround. And there it goes trying to... Um, well, he did in fact overstay his welcome. Beastmaster getting taken out. Shadowhunter is at 2. Blademaster is at 3. And the Quill Beast hiding in between the Orc Burrows and the Stronghold. Making it impossible for the Blademaster to get within range. Allowing the well, Quill Beast to get pretty much free damage. Um, while all these units are still trying to gather around. All right, there goes another Hex, Speed Scroll, Blade Master, or Archmage. Going to be forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal as the Speed Scroll was in fact used. That Speed Scroll, um, that Speed Scroll would have caught up to the Archmage even though it did have Boots of Speed. And once that happens, well, that Archmage probably would have been taken out. Water Elemental getting in some easy piercing damage onto that Spirit Walker who does now have to back off. Blademaster is still sitting at 3, Shadowhunter is still sitting at 2, as more Militia are now coming in from the north. Back down across here, Blademaster, Shadowhunter, all of these units are going to be ready to go. We see a Kobold Tunneler coming back across here, and what is going to be happening next? I still don't know. The game is incredibly close to call. Both sides, um, well, with relatively similar armies, no one with a big advantage. But we are looking at the Militia trying to do a big push here with the Sorceress and the Priest. This is your classic Tier 2 push after initial harassment with the Beastmaster. And without the Raiders, the Sorceresses are going to be able to cast a slow much more frequently. Things are already in favor of Romantic now. You can see um, the, the Sorceresses do not have to worry about the siege damage from those Raiders. Arcane Towers and Guard Tower or Arcane Towers, double Arcane Towers currently being constructed. Spirit Walker is currently back out on the field 44 compared to 40 as the Spirit Walkers are going to have to start casting some Spirit Link. All right, Romantic not upgrading this tower as of yet. Not quite sure what to make of it. Um, you really need multiple towers up and you need to engage now. Peasants are going to go ahead and engage. Sorceress casting slow even across some of those peasants means that a lot of the mana was lost. You can see the Sorceresses are low on mana already as the Blade Master is going to try and engage. Arcane Tower number one is about to get completed, but at the same time about to be destroyed. Arcane Tower number two is going to be in a very, very similar situation, but no, it is now done. And with that, it becomes much more difficult to take down. Re uh, peasants desperately trying to repair it. Going to go ahead and remove all the mana off of the Shadow Hunter. Blade Master still has some mana as it gets taken out as well. A lot of piercing damage from those troll headhunters, allowing for range to do its job. All right, Spirit Walker able to get into the ethereal form just in time. Romantic now, just now, upgrading this last arcane tower. It is a bit late as that as there was a lot of time passed where this guard tower or art scout tower wasn't being upgraded at all. 47 compared to 34. A pure caster army in the back line still causing a lot of problems as, as the Beastmaster trying to push through. Blademaster still in trouble here. Archmage is going to be able to drop some water elementals and push back. As you can see, the Arcane Tower is about to get poked down by those troll headhunters. Speed Scroll does not stop um, it does not slow down or counteract the slow from the attack speed as you see a Kodo Beast slowly getting digested, still fighting back and forth. More guard towers being added as the Sorceresses are trying to finish off the Blade Master. Blade Master now down to 154 some odd hit points. Units are now backing off again. It looks as though the Archmage is going to continue this supply advantage as the Priest, low hit point Priest in the back, still getting a little bit more hit points. The range just far too much as the Beastmaster now gets the level 2 finally at the 11 minute mark. 
this push going to continue on slowly but surely. Uh, Be Blade Master going to go after some more units. Beast Master continuing uh, to try and chase down some of those raiders. But the Shadow Hunter at level 3 with level 2 healing wave, keeping the army um, alive much longer than I would have suspected, even though that one raider did get taken down. All right, raiders in snare just now being researched. That's why we haven't seen a single in snare as of yet. The hawk is up in the air as the barracks might get taken down here in just a moment. Barracks down to five, 45 hit points. It gets taken out. Arcane tower about to be done as well. And with that, there's going to be much more pressure onto the army, especially now that there is no more troll headhunters to train up to try to take down additional arcane towers. All right, sorceresses in the backfield, focusing down a spirit walker, trying to run away, going into the ethereal form. Not going to work as they do take bonus damage from those sorceresses there. Continuing the fight now, healing wave probably wanted to land on the ethereal um, walker first as we now see the troll headhunter getting taken down 34 32 supply compared to 58 and i believe it is just going to be a matter of time before we do finally see the gg the writing is on the wall but he is trying to fight his way through this as the blade master gets to level four will that be enough voodoo lounge is still up that is very important since the blade master wants to get those potions of mana and those clarity potions as the fight is still continuing on. Beastmaster down to 436 hit points. Currently surrounded in snares just now done. Beastmaster could get taken down. Could be in a lot of trouble. There it goes. Archmage unable to transfer the potion in time. As we see some critical strikes go across. 53 compared to 35. A little bit of a setback. But is Romantic going to be able to hold on to this? Or was that loss far too much? Blademaster now in a little bit of trouble. Archmage now ensnared. Water Elemental is dropped. Trying to stay alive still. More casting coming across. Spellbreakers removing mana on that Shadow Hunter as the Water Elemental will get taken down in addition to a Spirit Walker. Still fighting this through. The Raiders um, now in trouble from those Spellbreakers. The Spellbreakers do deal normal damage and that is going to go ahead and pick some more units off again. Blademaster trying to get to level five trying to win this fight all by him well with the help of another unit but unable to do so and romantic with the lower score gets the win thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it